This is my background music Cause I don't wanna get copyrighted So I made my own shit to this beat Kinda lit low key but join the team Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe is up you guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel i'm deja hello so today's video i'm going to be listing some items that i think would be good to put on your registry if you're getting ready to have like your baby shower or whatever so for me when it was my time to do all this stuff when i was pregnant i like to watch youtube videos to get ideas of what i should put on there or like what not to put on there like stuff that i can buy on my own so i'm just gonna list some of the things that i feel like will be good to put on yours but before we get into the video make sure you hit that subscribe button follow me on all my social media accounts they are down below so open up that description box and turn on your bell so you never miss when you go upload okay okay <laughs> So let's just get straight to it. The first thing I have on my list is a car seat combo pack, which is basically like, you know, the car seat, the stroller, the car dock for the car seat. Um, I know that I got mine from Target. And it's like, yeah, I want it like a little cute type of car seat thing or like stroller. And you know, the easiest thing to do is just get like a combo pack from Target, Walmart, whatever, bye bye baby. Because it's honestly cheaper buying all of it together than like individually. So make sure you have like a car seat combo pack that comes with the car mount, um, the car seat itself, and the stroller. That's be the best bet. Next I have is a playpen. I know that they say, oh, like a bassinet or something. I got a bassinet, I had a bassinet on my registry. Nobody brought it for me though. Um, I brought it for myself, but um, Landon only used his bassinet for like a month or two and then he was too big for it. And I don't know if it's just my child, but he sleeps really wild we will lay him straight in his bassinet and he will end up like this in the morning like his neck be all against the walls and stuff so uh no just go with a playpen um most playpens nowadays turns into like a bassinet itself so it sits up higher and then when they get a little older you can just drop it down and use it for the playpen or use it for like a crib or something so that's what we use in our room it's like a bassinet but it's just way bigger um more space more room for them and more room for later to like roll around and stuff I found that he slept longer in that because he did have more room. Another thing that I would suggest to put on your registry is more than one type of bottle brand. So for me, I know that I was very stubborn and hard-headed and like had my mind to one type of brand of bottles I wanted to use, one type of brand of um, baby lotions and soap I wanted to use, but you wanna make sure that you have options and get a variety of things to, you know, try and use and see what works best for you and your kids. I would suggest um, adding more than one type of bottle on there just to see what your baby likes and what they don't like. Like, um, Layden used the Tommy Toppers, I think that's what it's called, bottle because it was the bottle that was most similar to my breast, so he liked that one a little better. Um, before we had, we had like four or five boxes of one type of brand and he honestly doesn't even like those bottles anymore. So just make sure you get more than one type of bottle. Also make sure you get one type of brand of like lotions and soaps and bath wash and stuff like that because you never know how your baby's skin is going to react you don't know if your baby is going to have eczema or not like for instance Layden does have eczema um i should have known he was going to get that because his pediatrician told us that eczema is genetic and i have really bad eczema so he has really bad eczema and at first i wanted to get all like baby dove products i was so stuck on like baby dove and he only used baby dove for like a month or two and then i had to switch him to the vino um products because of his eczema so we have a whole bunch of baby dove in our closet but i think i'll use it for him later on or use it for myself <laughs> but just don't be as stubborn as i was um be open to using more than one type of brand or products or all that other good stuff the next thing i would suggest is breast pads i know that everyone say this and your boobs are going to leak okay it doesn't matter if you're breastfeeding or if you're not your boobs are going to leak um so make sure you have breast pads and if you are going to be breastfeeding you should put on your registry some nursing bras nursing bras are like the easiest and most accessible <laughs> things that you can get okay they're just i love them they were just so easy to just click off feed the baby and boom okay so another thing would be the frida baby products um which for me i like to use their derma frida something that you can use for your baby's skin their hair um in the bath outside the bath um landon still uses his i use it more so of a scalp massage because it 
helps for eczema and for um, cradle cap. So I use it while I'm shampooing his hair. Um, it also says you can use it for like giving them a bath, using it as like washing them up. You can use it outside of the bath to apply their lotions and stuff like that. So yeah, I would suggest those products. I know they have something else that like you can suck up the baby's like snot and stuff, but you like, it's like a straw. Mm -mm, I'm not gonna use that. I'm scared that it might go into my mouth and I will throw up. <laughs> but I do know people who have used that and they say like it's really good. It works better than like the little suction thing that they give you from the hospital. So I'm gonna just take their word for it. I'm not gonna try it on my own. <laughs> but yeah, Baby Frida has a lot of products that are really good and they're not that expensive either. Another thing that I would suggest you guys getting is a baby carrier. Um, like, you know one of those things you can strap your baby in? It really helps. Like, it's really, really wonderful, especially if you're going out to like stores, mall, all that other good stuff. For us, it was just easier to put it on and take it off other than like popping up his stroller or taking his stroller into places, especially if it's like small knit tight stores that you're going into. I feel like the carrier is just better. So make sure you get a carrier. It will help you in life. <laughs> and like the next few things I'm gonna be listing is more of just like the obvious stuff you should get, um, like diapers and wipes, but make sure you get bigger diapers because honestly, all you will probably need if your baby is average size and stuff at birth, um, they're gonna go through newborn diapers so fast, okay? They grow so fast. Um, Layden didn't even use one full pack of newborn diapers. And I was mad because we had about four or five boxes. So make sure you get like bigger size diapers. Um, list on your registry like sizes two threes and yeah those will last longer because those newborn diapers they're so cute and little but your baby grows like this so let me know down below how many of you guys as kids didn't even finish a whole box of newborn diapers before you switched them to ones let me know because Layden only used about 12. <laughs> make sure you guys list a first aid kit on your registry okay first aid kits are always good it's always good to have more than one i keep one in my nightstand i keep one on his side of his crib i keep one in his diaper bag it's just good to have and they also come with like the little suction things they come with thermometers they come with um nail clippers and stuff like that to make sure you list one of those. Another thing is swaddles, okay? Like newborn babies love to be swaddled. It keeps them sleep longer. They just makes them feel like they're in the womb. So make sure you list a lot of different types of swaddles because they do have like just the regular blanket ones. They have the ones with Velcros. I really didn't know how to use the ones with Velcros. It was just complicated. So the, the blanket ones work best for us. And something that I wish that we would have put on our registry is like bibs, okay? We have to go buy more bibs now since he is teething. They drool so much and they can fill up the bib, get it all soggy and moist so fast. Um, so throughout the day, we have to change his bibs more than like two to three times. Um, so I would say list some bibs bibs would be amazing um also list some socks some hand mitts stuff like that um they do have different size socks and stuff for babies so make sure you get more than just newborn sizes okay just make sure you list more than just newborn because you know your baby is going to grow out of newborn stuff really 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 fast just think in advance that would be a best friend. <laughs> and yeah, that's all that I pretty much have. If I missed anything and you would like to help someone, comment down below so other people can get some more ideas. And yeah, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If you made it this far in the video and you're not yet subscribed, why? Make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn your post notifications on. And on that note, I love you guys! Bye!